my family. Now, when Prince Harry was promoting Spare, he said it seemed to him that the royal family, Charles, William, Camilla, Kate, have a vested interest in Harry and Meghan being seen as the villains in the story. Now, my family, Spare, came out last year. And now we are my family in 2024. And still, the royal family, William, Charles, K. Camilla, are still interested, are still okay with Harry and Meghan being painted as the villains by the British media. And you know what? Senior members of the royal family are the ones who continue to leak and brief against Harry and Meghan. And my family, that's a fact. K. Manzi, a couple of days ago, revealed that indeed it is the Windsors. They are the ones behind the attacks on Prince Harry. And Megan. You know? That's what she said. And Kate Manzi works for the Times, owned by Rupert Murdoch. And she's saying, indeed, she does know that the Windsors, William, Charles, K. Camilla, are the ones who are fully behind the constant attacks on Harry and Meghan. Yesterday, I spoke of what James Whale said about Prince Harry, whereby he was supporting Prince Harry. He said that uh, he believes one way that will be able to somehow end these attacks towards Harry and Meghan is if William and Harry are able to reconcile. Now, my family, why did he say that? Why? Why did he say that? He said that because he knows exactly who the problem is. And clearly, the problem is Prince William's jealousy towards Harry and Meghan. That jealousy has turned into hatred. There lies the problem. But William is not the only one who's jealous of Harry and Meghan. He isn't. He isn't. King Charles himself is jealous of his own son's star power. He was jealous of his own wife, Diana's star power. And what did Charles do? Charles undermined Diana's confidence. Charles cheated on Diana. Charles made Harry's late mother suffer. Fast forward to now. Charles is okay with leaking negative stories about Prince Harry to paint him in a negative light. And there is no law that Charles is not willing to stoop to to smear Harry and Meghan's names, to try and damage Harry and Meghan's reputations. And my family, I want you to please hear this. King Charles has spoken to the Daily Beast through his friends, through his friends. My family. And my family, Here's what Charles, through his friends, is saying. And I quote, Friends of King Charles III told the Daily Beast that Prince Harry is using emotional blackmail by dangling the threat of the king never again meeting his grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet. 
and they alleged that Prince Harry is trying to put pressure on the monarch to use his influence to get Prince Harry and his family automatic security while they are in the UK, while whenever they want to visit the UK. <laughs> <laughs> my family these people tend to always expose themselves over and over again they tend to expose themselves over and over again for a long time they have been saying that uh, it's up to the government they are the ones who decide if Prince Harry get security William when Prince Harry was being stripped of security when he was in Canada with Meghan and Archie Harry tried calling Charles Charles would not take Harry's phone calls and then my family right then and there when Prince Harry was trying to contact Charles to plead for help to ask for help to ask his father, please, please don't take away our security. Please protect your own son. Protect Megan. Protect Archie. When Harry was trying to reach out to Charles, Harry tells us in spare that right then and there, Prince William texted Prince Harry, asking Harry if he could talk. And then Harry thought William was going to help him. At least, that's what Harry says in spare. He says, you know, that he hoped Prince William would be able to help him because he knew that Prince William had the power as the heir to help him. But William told Prince Harry that, you know what, Harry, this decision to take away your security was made by the government. And I can't, we can't do anything about it, said Prince William. And now, <laughs> and now, my family, hear the reality of what they're confessing themselves about what we have always known. The power that Charles has, my family. Whereby Charles' friends, his People who speak on his behalf and look clearly are currently briefing against Harry are saying, and I quote, that they allege that Prince Harry is trying to put pressure on the monarch to use his influence to get Prince Harry and his family automatic security while in the UK. Also now, so now they reveal what we've always known. That Charles has the power. That Charles is able to get Prince Harry and Meghan the security. We know he has the power to get them. But clearly, for so long, he, Charles, has made sure that Prince Harry is unable to get the automatic police protection that Prince Harry seeks. And my family, I'm going to tell you why Charles refuses to give Harry the automatic police protection that Harry needs shortly. My family, first of all, let's continue hearing what friends of Charles continue to say, my family. First of all, my family, you know, basically what is being said is that uh, that a source close to Harry rejected that lie or that notion, saying that I quote vile neo-Nazi and extremist threats to Prince Harry were very real, and that one of the main reasons the prince wanted UK police security was so his children could get to know his home country. And the source pointed out that Prince Harry had even offered to cover the cost of security 
so as not to impose on the British taxpayer, my family. This is not a source. Speaking on behalf of Prince Harry, this is what we have learned from court documents. My family, this is what we learned from court documents. The Prince Harry does want his kids to get to know his home country. However, he can't and won't bring his kids to UK if he doesn't get police protection. If he doesn't get security that are armed, then he can't bring Megan or Archie or Lilibet to the UK. My family, no sources speak to the Daily Beast. My family. However, they are trying to make it look like Miss Harry speaks to them. My family, you know, basically, here's what uh, they continue to my family say. This issue on security has been burst into the open again. Last week, when Harry claimed in a TV interview that his wife Megan could not safely return to the UK and that he feared her being the target of an acid or knife attack triggered by negative tabloid coverage of her. My family, it is not just negative tabloid coverage of Megan. It is hateful, bigoted, racist coverage of Megan. We all saw what Jeremy Clarkson said about Megan. He was basically inciting violence against Megan. And he wrote that column right after having a having lunch with Camilla Parker Bowles, Charles' wife. And now they're acting as if they're surprised as to why Prince Harry said what he said, that he can't bring Meghan to the UK because it's unsafe. They're acting surprised, like they're shocked. My family, like they're, like they're, like they're, like they're shocked. You know? UK media and the firm know what they have done with the hate campaign. They know how poisonous, how hateful their hate campaign and smear campaign against Megan has been and continues to be. But despite that, they still continue with their attacks on Harry and Megan. My family, the actions, the actions of senior members of the royal family who are behind this ongoing smear campaign and hate campaign against Harry Megan it's just despicable it's despicable what uh, they are doing and my family they need to stop the attacks they need to stop you know the attacks my family and basically a friend of King Charles is saying and I quote the idea that security forces are going to allow Harry Meghan to be attacked by an acid throwing or knife wielding maniac on British soil is absurd and Harry knows it. My family, remember what happened to Diana. Remember what happened to her. The royal family did not protect Diana. And my family, they allowed the British tabloid media to pay paparazzi to harass her. And my family harassed her, they did. And they harassed her everywhere. And no wonder, even Diana said that after, you know, she and Charles, basically my family separated, things became even more extremely difficult for her. My family. Because the palace fed her to the wolves. Because they were intimidated. They were jealous of her star power. And now, fast forward, now they're jealous of Harry and Meghan star power. My family, do I think that security forces would do nothing if they knew or had my family intelligence reports that some 
someone who is unwell. Or as Harry said, a lone actor wants to, you know, do something terrible to Tori Megan. Do I think that security forces would not do anything to protect Harry Megan? My family, yes, I do. Yes, I do. They'll do nothing if they're ordered to not do anything by Charles and Prince William. For my family, we have already established and are hell-bent on destroying Prince Harry and Meghan's lives. My family, you know, you know, it is much better for Prince Harry and Meghan to have adequate armed police protection with them at all times. My family, with people who are taking care of them accountable. You know, if anything bad happens, God forbid, the people who are protecting them will be held accountable. But my family, without armed police protection, my family, it's clearly unsafe and not even worth the risk of Prince Harry bringing his family to the UK for a visit. You know? It is not worth the risk for Prince Harry to bring his kids to come over and get to know his home country. It is not worth the risk because it is clearly unsafe without adequate armed police protection. We also know how racist UK media have been towards Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. My family, the bullying, the hounding of Meghan, has shown us something very, very important. That senior members of the family have signed off on a press assault of both her and Meghan with the intention of destroying them. My family. So yeah, Harry and Meghan do need armed police protection guarding them, my family. They need it. That way, even when they're driving to wherever it is they'll be staying, that's if they do want to visit the UK. Or whenever they do visit the UK, my family, they can be able to have a police motorcade guarding them. That way, nobody harasses them. That way, nobody is following Harry and Meghan back to their homes like what happened to Harry Megan in New York City. The people who are behind that are the British tablet media because they are the ones who paid paparazzi to do everything in their power to find out where Harry and Meghan were staying and if Harry and Meghan brought their kids with them to New York City. My family, we know paparazzi were offered a fortune and no wonder my family, they harassed Harry and Meghan. No wonder they were so, so aggressive because they were offered so much money. No wonder they, they violated traffic laws in New York and endangered the lives of pedestrians just to try and get a photograph of Harry and Meghan. Just to find out why they were staying in New York because those are the orders they were given. Those were the orders that they were given. By the British media to find out that kind of information of where Harry and Meghan were staying when they were in New York. You know, when Meghan was uh, accepting the MS Women of Vision Award, you all know that my family, after that event, Harry and Meghan were pursued aggressively by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. And the tabloids were the first ones to come out and say, you know, it's not true. It's not true. Harry and Meghan weren't chased. Yet they were the ones who had photos of Harry and Meghan and Doria in a taxi. My family. Harry also tells us in court documents that when he came over to the UK for the Well Child Awards in the past, back when uh, Prince Harry was uh, unveiling the Diana statue with Prince William. When he came 
for that event. He also attended another, you know, event, the World Child Awards. And when he was leaving my family, the event, Harry says he was followed by paparazzi. He was followed and harassed my family. So really, yeah, Harry does need armed police protection because clearly UK media do not know how to behave especially when they know or see that Harry Meghan don't have armed police protection, which they can't have whenever they set foot in the UK. And Harry Meghan need that kind of my family protection. They need it before. They need that kind of uh, protection, my family, which Charles has been unwilling to give. And now Charles is saying or accusing Harry Meghan of trying, accusing Prince Harry of trying to emotionally blackmail him. My family, Harry is doing no such thing. He's doing no such thing. You can only emotionally blackmail someone who actually cares. And as we've been saying, Charles, through his actions, has shown he doesn't care about Harry, about Meghan about Archie and also about Lilibet Diana. The person who evicted Harry Meghan from their only UK home doesn't care about Harry Meghan or their kids. He doesn't. He does he does not he does not he does not even want to care about Harry, Meghan or Archie or Lilibet Diana. However, he wants you to think he does. Charles wants us all to think that he's a caring grandfather who loves and adores Archie and Lilibet, who was so hurt about the rift that, be, that he's not close to Archie and Lilibet Diana. He wants people to think he cares. He wants the public to believe he's a caring grandfather who apparently his grandkids are being kept away from him. My family, who evicted Harry Meghan and Archie and Lilibet from their only UK home. I'll tell you who. Charles. He cannot claim to care about Archie, about Lilibet, or about Harry and Meghan. He cannot claim that he's being emotionally blackmailed. You can only emotionally blackmail someone who actually cares about you. Charles has shown he doesn't care one bit about Archie and Lilibet. If he did, he would even have condemned the abuse and bullying of Archie and Lilibet Diana. Even when Megan was pregnant, but he never did. If he cared about Lilibet, Charles would never have allowed Lilibet to be bullied over a name, but he did. But yet he wants... People to believe he's a caring grandfather. And that Harry Meghan are the ones who are the villains who are keeping Archie and Lilibet away from him. It's a lie. 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 You know? It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. And my family, you know, Prince said he feared an attack on um, Meghan, his wife. However, in his remarks, he did not mention his children. But Harry, in court documents, has my family made it very clear that he also considered, considers that his kids also, my family, aren't safe in the UK. You know? And that they have often been the target, along with Megan, of deeply disturbing racist abuse, which we have been condemning for a very long time and demanding UK media to stop their attacks on Megan and demanding that senior members of the royal family leave Harry and Megan alone. And my family, apparently, you know, one friend of King Charles said, and I quote, that Prince Harry has lost 
he is a security case in court and that is now he is now trying to emotionally black blackmailing charles to get what he wants you know and that he harry is cynically using the threat of archie and Lilibet never meeting the grandfather as a tactic to go ass king charles into overruling rabek <laughs> My family, one thing I like so much is that they keep on revealing the power that Charles has. The power I've always been telling you all. It is not a matter of my family, the courts, getting high security. It's a matter of King Charles, who has the power to give Harry what he wants. Picking up his phone call. And making some phone calls to get Harry police protection because he's always had the power to do it. As we've always been saying, even before they've been saying this stuff, that even Charles has the power of overruling Ravek to give Harry armed police protection. Before all of this, we have always known. But it's nice that they're confessing that Charles has the power to even overrule Ravek. Of course, you always knew that. But it's nice hearing it again. My family. That way, next time you hear them saying, oh, you know what? Only the government can give Harry back security. Nonsense. Even my family, you know, ministers. My family in the cabinet. If Charles makes a phone call and tells them, give my son security, they'll give Harry security. Without any pushback, they'll give Harry security. The fact is, it is Charles who was responsible for taking Harry's security away. He's the person who can give it back. But clearly, he refuses to do that. And my family, you know, here is why. King Charles refuses to give Prince Harry security because he wants to be able to control Prince Harry's, you know, for example, movements. If Prince Harry got what he wanted, if Prince Harry gets automatic police protection, it means he'll be able to come over to the UK for visits with his family whenever he feels like it. He's a free man. He can do what he wants, but with automatic police protection. If he is given that, he'll be able to visit whenever he wants. And of course, the royal family, William and Charles, cannot stand, will not be able to stand seeing Prince Harry going out and my family, the public, you know, cheering on him and Meghan. The, the royal family will not be able to stand that. The farm will not be able to stand that. The farm will not be able to stand that despite all these years of smearing Harry and Meghan, my family, Harry and Meghan, are loved by the public. They will not be able to stand seeing that. Remember, William and Charles were jealous of the crowds that Harry and Meghan drew wherever they went. Australia, in the UK, in the Commonwealth, they were full of envy towards Harry and Meghan Tapper. And they sought to destroy Meghan with lies to clip Harry and Meghan's wings. To deem their Tapper, which is what UK Media and the firm have been trying to do even to this day. However, they have been failing. But they keep on trying. Every single day. You know, as you all know, this beer campaign against Harry Meghan continues. You know, it's my family. If Harry Meghan are able to get what they want, if Prince Harry is able to get what he wants, automatic police protection for his family, and he comes out to the UK, and, the, and there are crowds lining up for Harry Meghan, my family, just imagine how William will feel. Imagine how William will feel. Imagine how Charles will feel. You know, imagine how they'll feel, my family. Let's say even they're doing an engagement 
Katy got a ribbon somewhere. And had Megan go out with their kids or just, eat, just by themselves. Anywhere. A restaurant, my family, you know, just for a walk. And my family, you know, crowds form to cheer on Harry Megan. And the media's attention focus on Harry Megan. Imagine how senior members of the royal family are going to feel about that. They will not feel happy about that. And that is one of the reasons as to why Charles refuses to give Harry automatic police protection. It's all about control. I even remember when Harry and Megan were in Vancouver to mark the one-year countdown to the next Invitas Games in Vancouver next year. I remember that uh, Palace ADs were leaking, briefing, you know, saying that, you know, they wanted to know of Harry Megan's, you know, movements. They wanted Harry Megan to restrict the movements, meaning they did not want Harry Megan to go on, for example, a walkabout somewhere. They did not want that at all. Remember, they don't control Harry Megan, and Harry Megan are not taxpayer funded, but they feared seeing Harry Megan going out to crowds. And they wanted Harry Megan to my family restrict their movements onto the Invictus Games, you know, venue. Whereby Invictus game participants participants were training my family. Why? Why? Because they were afraid of Harry Megan going my family outside and for example doing a walkabout and crowds lining up for them. That's how petty and jealous people like William and Charles are. People like Kate and Camilla are. They don't like being overshadowed by family. And they don't like being overshadowed by Harry and Meghan. And uh, my family, you know what? No matter what they do, these people who aim to destroy Harry and Meghan will never ever succeed in destroying Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of my family, Sussex. Another source, close the rules, said in a quote, I wonder when they are older, how those kids, Archie and Lilibet, will feel about being denied a meaningful relationship with the King, King Charles. To deprive them of that experience with all its importance and heritage seems very misguided. Of course, he wants to see them, but if you force Charles to choose between duty to the crown and his personal feelings, he will choose the crown every time, just as his mother did. My family, Prince Harry, is not asking Charles to choose between the crown and his kids. My family, he's not. He's not. Harry is simply asking that if he does want to visit the UK, because it is where he was born, it's his home country, that he's able to do so with his family. And for him to bring his family, he needs them to have armed police protection, which they deserve, because the threat that they face from far-right extremists with family, you know? That's what Harry is asking for. Harry is not asking for the sun, the moon, and the stars. He's simply asking for my family security, for his family, for them to be safe and feel safe if they do travel to the UK together as a family, for them to feel safe. And Charles doesn't want Harry or Meghan to feel safe in the UK. He does not want Archie and Lilibet to feel safe in the UK. He doesn't want that. If he did, the my family, he would have done everything in his power 
to ensure that uh, Archie, Lilibet have the police protection that they, that, they, that they need and my family also deserve. And also my family, people who never ever condemned the bullying of Megan do not care about Archie and Lily Bedana. Let's be very clear on that. People who never ever condemned the bullying of Megan throughout her pregnancy should not pretend that they care about Archie or about Lily Bedana. My family, Archie and Lily Bedana are not being denied a chance of a relationship with Charles. It is Charles who simply doesn't care about them. Let's be very clear on that. Let's be very, very clear on that. And I'm sickened that Palace sources, Charles' friends, are trying to make him make it look as if you know he's someone who is the one who's aggrieved. That is the one who is the victim in all this. It is sickening what they're doing. Charles is not the victim. He's someone who's a failure as a grandfather to Archie and Lilibet, and a failure as a father to Prince Harry, and a failure as a father-in-law to Meghan. That's a fact. That's who he is. Stop trying to make Charles look like a caring grandfather. He is not. He is not. He is not. You know? My family. Also, my family, he as well, my family also has been said by a, by a friend of uh, Prince William. And I quote, that when Prince Harry was being kicked out of former cottage, they claim that one of his lines was that Charles would never see the kids again. This is him going public with that threat. And that when it was pointed out to the source that Prince Harry did not mention his kids in the ITV interview, they replied, and I quote, it was clearly implied. This really is not about Meghan, who has no intention of ever coming back to England again. It's about the kids. My family, let me kindly just my family say this, please. UK media and the farm think that maybe they can um, take away Archie a little bit and keep them in the UK away from the mother. My family, they are very mistaken. They are very, very mistaken. That is not going to happen. That is not going to happen, my family. They have this sick, twisted, evil fantasy that somehow, you know, Prince Harry will bring, will come to the UK with his kids and leave Meghan in the US alone. And that my family, UK media will have access to the kids, will be able to exploit the kids and also get Harry back in the royal fold where he should never have left. Because UK Media did not want him to leave. They just wanted Meghan to leave. My family. And they still want Meghan to stay away. But not Prince Harry. Or the kids. Because they want to exploit the kids. And also exploit Prince Harry. My family, they need to understand this. If they think that Prince Harry is going to abandon his wife Meghan. And take away Archie. Lily bit from her. Prince Harry. Is not someone who's evil. He will never ever do that to Megan. Like how these uh, individuals have been calling him to do. Like what Albi Amancona, who worked for GB News and has now been fired, called for Harry to do. He called for Prince Harry to leave Megan in my family, Modesito, and bring his kids over to the UK because, you know. He wants to make it look like they, like they care about the kids, they, they, like they care about Harry. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. My family, UK media are known for being racist. If you think that they'll ever treat Archie a little bit well, you are very mistaken. You need to get checked. They are never going to do that. Never. Why? Because UK media have never been able to hide their racism towards Megan. They have never been able to hide they are racing towards Archie and Lilibet. Even right now, they've been targeting Kamala Harris, my family. Even right now, they're targeting her. 
to my family, you know, you know, when someone tells you, oh, I care about Archie Lipidana, but you know what, you know, I don't care about Megan. That person doesn't care about Archie or Lilibet. He, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. My family. And my family, they say that Megan is the one who has no intention of ever coming back to England again. My family, Megan has been wrong so, so many times to the point that no one would blame her if she never, ever sets foot in the UK. No one would blame her. Because she's the one who has been wronged immensely. She's the one who is bullied constantly and attacked constantly and demonized constantly by the UK media and the farm. So nobody will blame Megan if she wants to stay in California forever, in America forever. No one will blame her. She'll be right to do what she wants to do, what she feels okay with doing with family. UK media should not think that somehow because of that, they'll be able to gain access to Archie and Lily Petana to mess up their lives. You know, Harry Meghan will never ever allow the UK tablets to ever do such a thing, my family. It is Charles who clearly has expressed that clearly he has no intentions to see Archie and Lily, but his actions show that. Let nobody ever tell you otherwise, my family. Charles is a failure as a grandfather. And my family, Archie and Lilibet are way much better off. Far away from Charles. And that is the truth and nothing but the truth. My family, I believe I have said enough. You tell me kindly, you are thoughts about what we have just discussed over here, your opinion family. May God bless you all and stay tuned to our next video. Love you all forever, my family. And also... Omis Kobe says that uh, Prince Harry said to Charles after Charles evicted him from Homo Cottage, don't you want to see your grandkids anymore? And my family, I have always said, I feel sympathetic, if that's true. If Prince Harry said that to Charles, I feel sympathetic to Prince Harry because I feel like he wants his father to care about him and the kids. But my family, Charles is a failure as a father. And don't beg for love from someone who clearly doesn't know what love means. Live your life. Prince Harry has his own family. It's Meghan, Archie, Lily Petana. His duty is towards them. And may he continue keeping his family safe. And Charles, stop trying to paint yourself as a victim. You are not a victim. You are someone who is a failed fa father to Prince Harry. You are a failure as a grandfather to Archie and Lily Bedana. That's who you are and that's who you clearly will always be. I do hope you can change, but you know what? I doubt it. I doubt it. You know? Maybe Harry sees something in you that we don't see. But to me, Charles, from what I've been able to see, you are someone who is a failure at everything. And sadly, I believe that Charles will always disappoint Prince Harry. Harry may have expectations from his father to be protected, to be safe. My family, he may have other, you know, expectations from Charles, but Charles will always fail him. It's much rather you stay from, away from someone who keeps on disappointing you rather than have someone who keeps on letting you down in your life. Charles is someone who it is much better for Archie, Lilibet, Harry, Meghan. To my family, you know, be clearly as far away from as humanly possible to protect the peace, their family, and their mental health. My family, right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we discussed. May God bless you all and stay tuned to this video. And may no weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lily Petana ever prosper my family. So clearly, all these attacks you're seeing towards Harry Meghan, it comes from William and Charles. And once again, my family, we can see it. That the same language used by Wikimedia, who accused Prince Harry of somehow emotionally blackmailing, you know, Charles, which isn't true. That language is being spread by friends of Charles. Once again, my family, you can see 
exactly where all these attacks come from. It comes from William and Charles and my family. It's high time that they stop, that they stop their smear campaign and hit campaign towards Harry Meghan and let Harry Meghan live in peace. The only family who Archie and Elizabeth will ever need is Harry and Meghan, their parents, and of course, Grandma Doria, people who actually want to be in their lives. You don't need those who don't want to be in your life. You don't. You don't. You don't need those who you have to get on your knees and beg. Beg them. Please, please, please love me. Please care for me. Please care for my kids. Those people you should not have in your life. If you have to beg someone to care about your son, about your daughter, about their grandkids, that person is much better off. That person is never ever in your life because that person will always disappoint you. And my family, we don't want to see Harry disappointed. We don't. I want to see him happy, living his best life and thriving. And Charles, sadly, and William will always disappoint Prince Harry. That's the truth and nothing but the truth, my family. Prince Harry, please protect your peace and also mental health. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it is Harry's you know choice and decision. But I do know he'll always do what is right to protect his family. He'll always do what is right for his family. Harry has proven time and time again there is nothing he won't do to protect his family. Megan, Archie, Lily Petana, and my family. I trust him in that. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Always and forever. And may God bless you all once again. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love, Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.